Emergency hearings with significant outcomes to the first on-camera statements from Watson's attorney, Rusty Hart. The Watson accusations move from the court of public opinion into an actual courtroom today. His attorney filed motions to learn the names of the women making these claims against his client. And that legal action was successful in 14 of those lawsuits. KPRC 2 reporter Courtney Zabowski is live downtown now where Watson's defense team held a news conference. Courtney, for a short time, we thought we might even hear from the Texans quarterback today. Yeah, Chris, we were expecting to Deshaun Watson to talk at this news conference today, but at the last minute, his legal team decided against it. It's a legal team that says Deshaun Watson is a good man who does not deserve all this. Let due process take its course. One by one, members of Deshaun Watson's defense team stood up to defend a man who they say is dumbfounded by the allegations against him. Were there sometimes consensual encounters? Yes. And... Will that come out in, a, in any kind of litigation or trial? Of course it will, and that's where it should come out. Watson's attorney, Rusty Harden, says comes. Watson gets about 150 massages a year. During the pandemic, he used Instagram to set them up. He doesn't have an entourage. He doesn't have a staff. He books and schedules his own dentist appointments. Knowing that about him, does it surprise you that he would also schedule his own massage therapy sessions? 22 women have accused the Texans quarterback of sexual misconduct during massages. He is not that man. He is not a sexual predator. And I feel very strongly to say he has not forced, coerced, intimidated, or threatened any woman to do anything to him. I was afraid. At a news conference Tuesday, two of Watson's accusers identified themselves, but the other 20 accusers are only known as Jane Doe's. That will soon change because in court hearings earlier today, Rusty Harden asked two separate judges to release the names in 14 cases. A judge ruled that Busby must release the names of four of the Jane Doe's. Busby agreed on his own to release the names of 10 others. In a statement following the hearing today, Busby wrote, quote, as I said in court, be careful what you ask for. Identifying these women at this point adds even more credibility to the allegations being made. And I am proud to stand with these brave and courageous women. Tony Busby has a few days to release those names. The names will become public. There are still eight other cases that are still known as Jane Doe's, but that could also change. We're live downtown. Courtney Zabowski, KPRC 2 News.